people, it's Helen, it's about oh, 10.25 Central European time. I have a couple of things I want to discuss today. Uh, they're on everyone's mind here on the continent. I think you know what they are. You may even question the wisdom of me discussing these topics at this point in time, given that the terror alert on the continent is at its highest level in decades. But I had these, I've had these things on my mind for two weeks. Time to get them off my chest. Here we go. So, Shalithibo. Um, I am one of the many people who said Jesus Shali. Um, even though when I actually read the paper itself, I found it to be quite racist. Um, even with some of the humor explained to me by the various template posts I saw regarding this issue, I still found the caricatures to be rather uncomfortable. I suppose great satire is supposed to do that, but when you start characterizing people who come from a marginalized part of society and make fun of the religion of many of them, you're going to disenfranchise a few, not to mention alienate many. All that said, um, there has to be room in a free society for all kinds of debate, religion being one of them. Um, if drawing a caricature of Muhammad is a way to encourage debate among Muslims and non-Muslims, so be it. Apparently, in, now in Saudi Arabia, it's now illegal to be an atheist. Apparently, according to King Abdullah, if you're an atheist, you are now a terrorist. Tolerant society, huh? Brings me to Pegida. It decided it was a good idea to glom on to those, those killings of the Shirley Thiebel office and use it as an excuse to drive out Muslims or discourage so-called Islamification, unquote, of the, of the European West. And again, I say, your average Muslim does not care um, about Muhammad or whatever. They're just trying to get here to make a living. They're escaping these countries where the very factions that killed Charlie Thebo, the Charlie Thebo editor and cartoonists, were pretty much after them as well. That said, there should also be room for respect. So it would be great to sit there and say, well, I've, I've, my freedom of speech basically allows me to say whatever I want about whomever I want. Um, consider the downtrodden. Consider the people who've come over to this country from Muslim-based countries who are now at war. They've come here to make their living. They've come here to find peace. I would venture to say that your average Muslim really doesn't care what the caricature of Muhammad looks like as long as they can get food on their table the next day. Again, all everyone is looking for in this particular situation is tolerance and respect. So in that spirit, in that spirit I would like to say, Jesus Charlie and fuck Pegida. <laughs>